5G has finally arrived for Fujifilm X-Series. And we will tell you all about it, so, so keep, keep on, on watching. watching. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy. And I'm Francis. And we're, we're the, the Fuji, Fuji guys. guys. Today, we'll be looking at Fujifilm's fifth generation technology. And more specifically, the first camera in Fujifilm's lineup that will utilize it. We are both excited to introduce to you the X-H2S. The X-H2S is designed with functionality in mind, with the versatility to create stunning high-quality photographs that Fujifilm cameras are known for, while also highly capable of capturing cinema-quality footage right in the camera. Unlike other X-Series models, this camera is designed more like a traditional DSLR with a mode dial and a front and rear command dial to adjust exposure settings. This makes this model more flexible in use for hybrid image makers and video users. Many buttons on the camera allows for total customization for the user, while the deeper grip makes it more appealing for those looking to use longer focal length lenses for things such as sports and wildlife photography. The X-H2S is weather resistant and slightly smaller in size than the X-H1. And given the unique design and capabilities of this flagship model, this will be Fujifilm's best go-to solution for those wanting a truly hybrid camera system. The X-H2S is the first X-Series camera to feature an X-Trans 5 stacked, back-illuminated CMOS sensor. The X-Trans color filter array minimizes moiré and false colors while the new stacked, back-illuminated sensors deliver outstanding image quality thanks to the expanded low-light capabilities and increase in dynamic range. For filmmakers, the X-Trans 5 stack CMOS sensor brings with it minimal rolling shutter, expanded dynamic range, and high ISO capabilities to tackle all sorts of challenging scenes. Paired with the sensor is the newly developed X-Processor 5 CPU, which brings with it speed and performance that both photographers and filmmakers will benefit from. It incorporates an AI processor for deep learning adaptive autofocus algorithm with subject detection. The new AF system can identify and track cars, planes, trains, motorcycles, birds, horses, dogs, cats, and more. Furthermore, face and eye detection capabilities have been expanded to pick up hairlines, glasses, and face coverings. 5G is really here for the X-Series and I am so excited to put this new technology through its paces in the next few months or so. The X-H2S is Fujifilm's flagship model and with that it will have the highest performance of any X-Series camera in the lineup. It features a 1 8,000th of a second mechanical shutter with a durability of over 500,000 cycles. It will also incorporate Fujifilm's IBIS technology that offers up to seven stops of shake reduction and works in conjunction with OIS lenses to deliver handheld user true versatility. Continuous shooting is possible at 15 frames per second with a mechanical shutter and thanks to the camera's high capacity buffer, it allows for unlimited continuous recording and writing of JPEG and RAW files to a high speed memory card. For those that require even faster continuous shooting, the camera is capable of blackout free shooting up to 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter. And thanks to the fast readout and performance of the new X-Trans 5 stack CMOS sensor and X-Processor 5, all this is accomplished with minimal rolling shutter. Fujifilm has refined the X-H2S to truly be a camera that can be used as a serious tool for high-end professionals for both stills and video. 
Many of these refinements can be seen directly on the camera, including the return of the directional pad, which other models have forego in the past. The D-pad not only provides another means to navigate the camera's menu, but also enable four additional functions to be assigned, making this camera truly customizable. One of my favorite features that makes this truly a hybrid camera is the seven C positions on the mode dial that can be customized to either stills or video presets. As a filmmaker, you could set C1 to shoot in 4K 120, while C2 could be set up to capture 6.2K footage in F-Log2, for example. With a quick turn of the dial to C3, we could be set up to capture stills instead with our favorite film simulation. The camera has an upgraded electronic viewfinder that is bright and clear with a fast refresh rate and the highest resolution amongst other X-Series cameras. It offers a 3-inch very angle touch LCD and incorporates a customizable top LCD panel to display shooting information to the user. The XH2S now offers a CF Express Type B and UHS-2 memory card slot to support the camera's ability to record a wide range of internal video recording formats. Also quite useful if you're shooting in high burst and still modes. The camera now has a full-size HDMI Type A to support filmmakers and a separate 3.5 mm microphone and headphone input. ProRes and Blackmagic RAW is supported from the HDMI port using an appropriate external recorder that supports these formats. The USB-C port on the camera supports power delivery and is used for data and charging. For those wanting to use a professional grade XLR microphone, the camera's firmware fully supports the XLR microphone adapter for Fujifilm by Tascam. You can find some more information about this accessory from the link in the description. On the side, there's a 2.5 remote release port that can be used to connect a remote shutter release or an intervalometer. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are available to remotely control and transfer images to a smartphone or a tablet. Like recently introduced X-Series models, the camera uses a high-capacity NPW235 lithium-ion battery, and thanks to the efficiency of the new sensor and processor, it can capture more frames in a single charge than previous models. There's an optional vertical battery grip that offers two additional battery slots for a total of three when connected to the camera. When one battery runs out, the camera switches seamlessly to the next battery while continuing to shoot, even in the burst mode or during video recording. The grip features a shutter release button, focus lever, AEL button, AF on button, command dials, Q button, and F and button to provide the same level of handling and comfort in vertical shooting as you get in the horizontal operation. The network grip version adds an ethernet port for added connectivity and USB-C port for 5G mobile tethering. It supports the 802.11ac and incorporates the 2x2 MIMO antenna for faster and stable Wi-Fi connection. Thanks to the fifth generation sensor and processor, this camera has some very powerful video features. One of the major benefits of the stack sensor is the extremely fast read capabilities which will minimize rolling shutter. Footage can be recorded internally at a wide range of resolutions and frame rates up to 6.2K at 30p in full sensor 3x2 aspect ratio. The camera can also record high-speed footage at 4K 120p for incredible slow motion footage and up to 240 frames per second at full HD. F-Log2 has been added as a new option to record with a wider dynamic range and with a base ISO that starts at 1250. Additionally, the camera can record 422 10-bit footage internally to the memory card and offers a wide variety of video codecs including H.265 and Apple ProRes formats. ProRes and Blackmagic RAW is available via the HDMI port for incredible post-production flexibility. For more intensive video application, there is an optional cooling fan that helps with heat dissipation. This accessory connects to the back of the camera and draws its power directly from it.
So there you have it, a quick look at Fujifilm's fifth generation camera, the X-H2S. There are a lot of features to like about this flagship model, including things like 6.2K video, 4K 120, and the fact that it can record in ProRes internally. On the photo side of things, you have 15 frames per second continuous shooting for JPEGs and RAW with no buffer, 40 frames per second in an electronic shutter, and a modern autofocusing system with deep learning AI. So let us know what you think about this camera in the comment section down below. If you want to see more about this and other Fujifilm products, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Billy. And I'm Francis. And we, we are, are the Fuji, Fuji Guys. guys.